Hi, and welcome back to the Da Great Soda channel. Using Newegg to see the price differential between your stock MSI GTX 4090s and the more expensive models. And to be honest, when you're already paying $1,600 to compare that and add another $400 to it, seems like a bit of a stretch. But I found two things that I think might help you to make a decision whether or not you want to pay the extra $400 to get the Strix versus a standard 4090. First piece of information I can tell you is they have still not determined what the core and base clocks are going to be on the standard gaming X trio. So at this point, I'm going to default to Wikipedia, which claims the base is 2230 and the boost is 2520. I have no more information. If you go to their website, it still says to be determined. MSI, it's a week before you can start buying these things. Can you please publish something? However, however, if we go to the ASUS Strix site, you will see that your numbers are in the 2600s, not a standard of 2200 and a boost to 25. So you get a significantly better core clock and boost clock. I have not seen any numbers to indicate what this will benefit you in terms of FPS or gaming or anything like that, but at least it is higher. I also found one other thing that you need to be aware of when you purchase the standard 4090 versus the Strix. The Strix actually has an extra HDMI port on it here. So you have the one, two, three display ports, two HDMI versus your standard 4090 is going to have three display ports and one HDMI. So again, is it worth another $400 for a little bit higher core and boost clock and a extra HDMI port? I can't determine that. I leave that up to you. If you'd like to see continued videos about graphics cards and technology in general and how to save money, please like, share, and by all means, subscribe. Thank you for watching.